I can't believe I've done this. There are three things you're told to never talk about. Religion, nutrition, and politics. Which is why I want to start this video off by saying, in no way am I even going to touch the topic of politics in this video. One, I'm a physics student, okay? This really isn't my domain. And two, I'm Canadian. Don't drag me into your mess. <laughs> However, whether you're on the left or the right, I think we can both mutually agree that the words Donald Trump and dating website don't even belong in the same stratosphere. Now, I became aware of this website a couple days ago when one of my friends just showed it to me. And you know, usually I try to stay as far away as possible from anything remotely political because that's kind of just like willingly dipping your hand into a tank of ravenous piranhas. But this instance, this instance, God damn it, I was too intrigued. I just had to try it. So I went ahead and made an account. I just want to see what the heck was up. I wanted to see what was going on. Is that too much to ask? Now, I'm gonna be honest. I'm 18 years old. The thought of dating really hasn't crossed my mind yet. I'm just too busy for men. And it also doesn't help that I do stupid crap like this all the time. However, you know, I'm willing to change that today. Maybe today I can find a strong, conservative, patriotic American boyfriend. Now I'm 18, okay? So it's at least legal for me to do this. A good decision, that's another conversation. However, if you are in fact a minor, listen up. Actually, no. Do not, for any reason, under any circumstance, Sign up for a dating website. It's dangerous. If you're a parent and you can hear me screaming at you through your kid's phone, shut this video off and play Barney or something. I don't know, your kid's stupid. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, okay, Joanna, that sounds all fine and dandy, but what exactly is Trump dating? Well, simply put, it's a dating website for Trump supporters. And I mean, if that logo should tell you anything, my oh my are we in for a wild ride at this point you're probably like joanna why don't you just shut up and make the account so let's do that okay how do i sign up oh wait i have to enter in my email oh god does this mean i'm gonna get emails from donald trump himself i feel like i'm signing up for a cult i'm not really comfortable using my actual name i'm scared that the media will find out that i'm doing this and think that i'm an actual trump supporter and try to cancel me thankfully for me however i have like a seemingly unending list of aliases Shit. Oh, okay, now it's time for me to enter my password. No one look. How do you guys come up with these names? Like, Wyoming? Was that someone's last name? Hi, my name's Jackie Kennedy. I'm from Mississippi, and my favorite color is chalk. I was born in Walnut Grove, and I'm 24. I'm not 18. No, I'm not, because 18 year olds are crazy. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Your marital status. Ew, I've never been married. What the heck? Your hair color. Blonde. Your body type. Muscular. Average. Few extra pounds. Or big and handsome. I don't know about you, but big and handsome is really speaking to me. <laughs> your ethnicity. Hey mom, what's my ethnicity? In the wise words of Lele Pons, it's because I'm Latina! Now unfortunately, the profile building didn't end there, so I took some time and I built the perfect summary of myself, Jackie Kennedy, to make sure that I put my best foot forward in the dating game. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you all, Jackie Kennedy with a C. I'm not gonna lie, when I signed up for this website, I was afraid. I was petrified, kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong and I grew strong and I learned how to get along. Hi, my name's Jackie Kennedy of Mississippi. I grew up in Mississippi and I've lived in Mississippi all my life. Mississippi smells nice. The lakes in Mississippi are all really blue. I like to take long walks on the beach here in Mississippi. I hope you like me and I hope you visit Mississippi sometime soon. I'm the governor of Mississippi and I approve this message. Also, Trump is the best and evolution is a farce. My idea of a great first date, the laundromat. My favorite foods are soup, water, salt, and toothpaste. My favorite place is the laundromat. Favorite singers, Ninky Minjaj, um, 
vanilla ice. Sports that interest me are motorcycling and bicycling. What do I do for a living? Teeth. Do you smoke? No way. Do you have kids? Yes, they're with me occasionally, but I misplaced them the other day, so I have no idea where they are now. Pets I like, but don't have horse okay photos so at first i was gonna straight up catfish men but then i searched up the legality of catfishing and turns out it's considered identity theft so unfortunately i had to use my own photos now i started off my array of photos with a statement i feel like this sends the important message that i'm already thinking about marriage and i don't even know you yet um Okay, you might be saying to yourself, holy crap, Joanna, you look like sh This is a photo of when I had an allergic reaction to peanuts, and it's just a glimpse of what you can expect to get if you stay with me during sickness and health. And the final photo. Okay, this is really just here to expand my audience. I know there's a market for feet on Tinder and other more mainstream dating websites, so I decided to post some fully clothed conservative feet. You know, they're respectful. They don't take their clothes off without saying please and thank you. So now there's only one thing left to do. Sit and wait. Surely someone would fall for it. Someone would have to click on my profile. I mean, I couldn't be that repulsive, right? Like, people do this all the time. Someone will be desperate enough to go with me. They have to. I can't believe I spent $24 on this mess. I could have done so much with that money. You know how many avocados I could buy with $24? But don't worry, if you die, you will get a refund. Also, if you become disabled, my dick fell off! You should be reimbursed for your monetary sacrifices. Thanks, guys. No, you really, you really, your courteousness is immeasurable. Listen, okay, I didn't want to be a public nuisance and I never had the intention of harming anybody in doing this, but I think it's fair to say that I had maybe a little bit too much fun in responding to messages and trolling these men. Now I've done my best to blur out all their faces and names because although I may be acting immature, I'm not here to dox anyone. <coughs> now I have to admit, I didn't get too many successful interactions, which I honestly don't know why, because I had a killer profile and I don't know anybody who wouldn't want to match with me. Now, the first man that reached out to me, he actually managed to find my profile in less than a day. Oh, so you choose death. The gods of chance seem to think that we'd be a good match, huh? Now, I have to admit, I'm deeply religious. I only know one god. So I was a little bit confused as to what god this man was referring to. I'm sorry, I'm Catholic, so I don't know of this god you speak of. Then for like five hours, nothing happened. It was silent, radio silent. Now the great thing about this website is that it snitches on its customers. <laughs> so it tells you how many times your profile's been viewed and by who. That was when I saw that someone had in fact seen my profile. They didn't say anything, you know, they were sneaky, but I got eyes on every corner of my head. So when I saw that this lovely young man had seen my profile, I mean, this photo? What more could I ask for? Like, literally, this is everything I've ever been looking for in a man. Are you the Monopoly man? What? He was sending me for a lot of a loop. What did you expect? The resemblance was literally uncanny. Not gonna lie, this was when I really got, like, a boost of confidence, you know? I was on my stride. I was an independent woman. So I started to just reach out to a bunch of people. I saw this pair of aviators on my homepage, and, you know, that was enough to intrigue me. Turned out he was an entrepreneur, so obviously I only had one option. Uh. Are you jealous of Elon Musk? It wasn't long before someone else, in fact, viewed my profile again. Now this man, this man was really into it. Like, we had a full-on conversation. Hi, good morning, your pretty face caught my heart and you're charming. Do you care to chat? I'm Miles. Make him away downtown. Suddenly, I knew exactly how to respond. If I could fall into the sky, do you think time would pass me by? Yes, time would pass you by because if you fall for me, it'll be forever.
Unfortunately, now wasn't the time to get grossed out. I had a mission, so I just kept on going. Cause you know, I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight. You know, I'm a woman of class, okay? I do things intelligently. If my peers aren't picking up what I'm putting down, you know, that's their problem, not my issue. LOL, that's funny, why are you on here? I just wanted to try something new. And it's always times like these when I think of you and I wonder if you ever think of me. I'm looking for a true love relationship, someone I could spend the rest of my life with. How long have you been on here in any luck yet? Oh my god. <laughs> I've been on this website. Just making my way downtown, walking fast. Do you believe in online dating? Sure, I guess. But do you believe in life after love? I did try my hand at a couple other potential people that just kept on showing up on my home screen. This guy that liked fishing, I emailed him, what's your best salmon recipe? You gotta get those omega-3s somehow. This other guy, he uh, winked at me. That's a thing. And I read on his profile that he was one, into horseback riding, and two, he had a pretty formidable stash, if you know what I mean. So I had two options. Secretariat was built in a lab by the Russians. Or two, I calculated the net force on your mustache. I ended up sending both. So yeah, <laughs> that's how I've been spending my last 36 hours. Am I feeling a little bit guilty? Sure. But I still did it. It's not very nice. I did it anyway. If you want to yell at me for this, actually I deleted my Twitter. So if you want to do something, go on there and just vent because I won't be there to stop you. So yeah. I guess that's the end.